So what's going on guys, Kate's here, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's one I'll show you why do pro players use the keybinds that they do. So if you're a new player or a player who's been playing a lot, for the most part we want to get as good as possible. And to be honest there is so much that you can do to improve your accuracy, buy the best mice or keyboard, all the mouse pads, monitors, PCs and everything else. When you have all of that or at least good enough, then the following question appears, what can I actually improve in Fortnite? And like all of us know, one of the biggest things are keybinds. The building in general for Fortnite is 90%. So that's why I made this video in which I'll showcase top 5 different pro players, what keybinds they use, mouse and keyboard, as well what position they have placed their keyboard and the mouse, because that plays a big part on what keybinds and what keys they select to add to their keybinds. And on top of all that, I have selected 5 different playstyles and 5 different players with five different keyboards and keybinds. So guys, for every specific player, there'll be a timestamp in the description down below, but I would definitely recommend to watch till the end. So that at the end, you can choose from all the five players, what playstyle, what keyboard, what mouse, and of course, the most importantly, what keybinds for your building and all the items you want to use for yourself. And with that said, let's get right into it. So with that said, here is the first player, AKA Phase Mongrel. Like we know, he's one of the best players, if not the best player ever in Fortnite. And the biggest part is that he's not only good for building, but he's good in every single thing. 1v1 in creative, in playgrounds, zone wars, pro custom scrims, and much more. So with that said, the first thing that we'll take a look is his keyboard. Which of course, like I said at the start, will play a big part. So his keyboard is the one and only Corsair Key 65 Lux. But if you have the Corsair 65 key or Corsair Key 70, it's still it's basically the same keyboard. All that this specific edition does is that he doesn't have on the right side extra number buttons. Especially whenever you are a pro player and you qualify for tournaments like he has right now for the New York World Cup. You bring yourself all the peripherals that you have. So a mouse and a keyboard. And specifically whenever they have a small disc, this keyboard is really good because it's a lot smaller than the original edition. So then the second thing is his keyboard placement. Like you can see in the footage from his previous streams, this is his keyboard and mouse placement. So you may be wondering why does he has this type of keyboard placement? And it is really simple. He can place his whole left arm on the desk itself and the second arm is on his mouse and on the desk itself but only the elbow is off the desk. So like I previously mentioned, when you are in a LAN or tournament and you have really limited space, it really helps. So with that said, here is the second part in which you can see all his key binding. So first things first, he's using the mouse button 5, which is on his mouse right here. Then the end button is programmed to the DPI or aka the sniper button, call it whatever you like. And the stairs is on his mouse button 4. So like you can see for yourself, almost all his building is on the mouse. Then the next thing is for pyramid is on T and traps are on 5. And last but not the least for editing he's using F. And the last thing about his whole keybinds are of course the items that he's holding. So like you can see for yourself the pickaxe is on his C. Then he's usually placing his shotgun on 2. M4 or any other long range weapon is on 3. Then on the button 4 usually are gliders, sting bombs, smoke grenades or any other mobility item. On Q is usually a heavy sniper, a bolt action rifle, or even a rocket launcher. And in the last spot, he usually has minis, med kits, chug jugs, big shields, or any other healing item, which is of course on the button X. So that's it for Mongrel. And now let's take a look at the second player. Then going over to the T few, he's using the Ducky 1 2 mini keyboard. Like you can see for yourself, that keyboard is almost two times smaller than Mongrel's, and it's called the 60% mechanical keyboard. So in the keyboard itself, most of the time it's not a huge difference in which you choose. It depends on your taste, what keycaps you like, and that type of style. But whenever we take a look at actually how he places his keyboard, you can see that he puts his keyboard at 90 degree angle. In my opinion, that is too extreme. Of course, by doing that, it cleans up even more space for your mouse. But you have to put your whole left hand on the desk itself. No elbows or anything like that can be off the ground. In my opinion, I tested out, it was too extreme for me, but if you want to play like TFU, then you can try it for yourself. And obviously, that's why he has different keybinds. So for his walls, he's using C, for floor, E, and for stairs, Q. And then for his mouse, he's using the final mouse Ninja Air 58. So for pyramids, he has on mouse button 5, and traps on mouse button 4. 
By the way, guys, a quick tip. Always, whenever you have traps, jump pads, or any other item that goes into the trap slot itself, always have traps on the first slot. So whenever you take a look at Tfue's gameplay or whatever, he always can trap someone. And then the placement is basically straightforward from 1 to 6. The big thing is that a lot of players cannot reach to 5 to 6 on their keyboard. But Tfue, like I said at the start, has placed his keyboard at 90 degrees. So reaching any buttons is no problem for him. So for 2, he's using usually M4 or any other rifle. For 3, he's using always a shotgun. For 4, a Tommy or any silent SMG. So he could burst any walls after shooting a shotgun. Then for 5, a mobility. So smoke grenades shadow bombs or any other item and for the last but not the least is always a healing so med kit minis big shot or whatever and last but not the least for editing he's using the v button then take a look at the third player is the ninja himself he's using the corsair key 70 rapid fire with the speed switches so this is a really similar keyboard to mongrels but it's just a one year older version of the keyboard itself in my opinion, I have played both of them and there are zero difference between both keyboards. Maybe small tweaks, but nothing too huge. So you can use both the player playstyles if you have their keyboards. And for the mouse, he's obviously using the final mouse Ninja Air 58. So for his walls, he has on mouse button 4, floor is on Q and stairs are on mouse button 5. Cones or AK pyramids are on L shift and traps are on 5. Then the pickaxe is on 1. M4 or any other assault rifle is usually on 2, or the 3 is usually a shotgun, a pump or combat. Then for 4, really similar to Tfue, he's having a SMG or a Tommy gun. Then the next slot is Z, which are usually as well the mobility, so gliders, smoke bombs, shadow bombs or any other item. But if he doesn't have them, then he has a, another healing spot. So for example, if he gets a bunch of shields and a big shield, he will sacrifice mobility to get extra healing items. And the last slot of course is on X which is another healing item. And last but not the least for building edit he's using the F key. Then take a look at the next player is Mr. Savage himself. Yes if you know him he's one of the best EU players ever in Fortnite. For his keyboard he's using a really not traditional keyboard which I haven't seen ever another player using. So it is called the Rovac Vulcan 120 AMO mechanical RGB keyboard. And for the keyboard placement he's using the traditional. So he puts it normally, not left to right or 90 degrees or whatever like that. And by the way guys, if you're wondering, yes, I'm using the same keyboard placement as him. I have the same keyboard as Tfue, the Ducky 1-2 Mini, but I couldn't ever place it 90 degrees and normally play. My hand felt awkward and it just didn't work for me. And for the mouse, again, he's using a not traditional mouse, which is the Rocket Cone Pure All Eye Gaming Mouse. Yes, in my opinion, it sounds kind of weird and it looks as well a lot different from previous mouses with that right and left grip. And yes, you guessed it, no other player is using the same mouse as him. So take a look at his building for if he's using walls, floors are on G and stairs are on T. Mouse button 5 is for cones aka pyramids and mouse button 4 is on traps. Then he has the same key placement as Tfue has, which is from 1 to 6. So the key 1 is on pickaxe, key 2 is M4 or any other assault rifle for medium range. The number 3 is for any shotgun, number 4 is for heavy sniper or any other sniper. Number 5 is for mobility, so small grenades, gliders or any other item. And 6 is for healing. And last but not the least, for building edit he's using Q, which of course you can physically press on any keyboard so that is bind to his scrolling wheel. There are very few players who actually prefer scrolling wheel and double editing mechanic which is for a long time been implemented in Fortnite. So like I said at the start I will give you a bunch of the best players with different playstyles so this is another one. And with that said now we have come to the last player which is Liquid Vivid. For keyboard he's using the Logitech G Pro. Yes like you can see the comparison between Ducky 1-2 Mini and G Pro both of them are really small or I would actually call them the same size. And for his keyboard placement, he has the standard pro player placement, which is like this. It still gives you a bit of space to work with your mouse on small desks. So this is what he prefers. And for the mouse he's using, the final mouse Ninja Air 58. Like you can see for yourself, 3 out of 5 players are using the final mouse mouses. And guys, if you're wondering, should you buy the new mouse, which will be released in 2-3 days? If you're watching this at the same day when I published the video, then check this video out and I did a 
in-depth review about all the details where you should buy it how if you don't like the mouse how can you resell it for up to four times the price that you bought it all the detailed review and everything else so if you're interested in that then check that out then going over to the building for walls he's using q for floor mouse button four four stairs e four cones and pyramids mouse button five and four traps e and the pickaxe slot is x then all the other slots are from one to five so the number one slot has always mobility or any other gliders number two is shotguns so combat or pump number three is m4 or any other medium range weapon and number four and five are always healing items vivid most of the time doesn't really like any heavy snipers or rocket launchers so for that three slot he always has double the healing items like i said at the start in this video you're able to see every single playstyle that there is in fortnite some players play this game a lot passively and some aggressively and last but not least he's using the g button for editing and that said i really do appreciate you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this was my top 5 list of all the best pro players with different playstyles, different keyboards and keyboard placements and of course all the keybinds so if you watch the full video now you can see and compare your own keyboards for these pro players or if you don't have them already you can either way choose pick whatever playstyle, keyboard or whatever you like so yeah this video was kind of long but i hope my voice didn't bore you and you have watched till the end if you did all your support would help out so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to click like and subscribe to keep up to date with every video top 10 list or whatever i make which is every single day if you have any suggestions or future video improvements let me know in comment section down below and of course on top of all that enable that notification bell so you would get notified whenever a new video is up and running thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it my name is kate you have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya, kid from California Trying to make it in life, it's school that never taught ya